Today's DIY projects are pine cones and natural elements. Hey guys, this is Kim from Creative DIY Purpose and welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back friends and family. I'm so glad that you're here. And if it's your first time, thank you so much for joining me. So my channel is all about upcycling, thrift flips, thrift hauls, valuing beautiful vintage treasures and doing any type of creative activity and trying to always use what we have on hand first. Today we are going to hop right into our projects and our first decor project is these cute pine cone name tags and they are just so simple to make and they're wonderful at a place setting or as a gift topper and then your recipient can hang them on the tree as an ornament. Okay, so what I did was cut out about 18 to 20 inches of jute twine, but you can use whatever ribbon that you have on hand. And I just tied a slip knot through these cute little cardstock flags that I picked up from Joanne Fabrics a few years ago. You can use whatever cardstock tags that you want. You can even design some in Canva and print them out on cardstock and you can put little different sayings on them. All right, so your next step is to take some ribbon. I did about 11 inches of this little burlap ribbon and I just folded it evenly in a Z shape and backwards Z. And then you're gonna just pinch that center together and what I did was just tied it, the tag through. I did a little slip knot and then just fixed the bow so that one tail's in the back and one is in the front. And then you can cut your edges however you, you want to do them. And then you can just fix your cardstock tag to go the way that you want it to go. And then we're going to go right ahead and just tie it right on the top of this pine cone. Okay, so I'm going to give you two tips um, on a few mistakes that I've made. Before you tie this on, make sure that the pine cone is sitting in a stable position because what I've done before is gone and tied this on and had it go head over tea kettle. So you just want to make sure. I always usually put it down on the table and, and roll it and see where it stops. There we go. <laughs> All right. And my other tip is if you're going to do a bunch of them, like for a place setting, make sure that you're tying it either at the beginning of the pine cone or the end. Otherwise, when you put them on a place setting, they'll be mix match. These also sell really well. I sold quite a few online and when I had my retail store. And here they are as a gift topper with just some muslin fabric and some greenery. Okay, moving on to project number two is the pine cone garland. So you're gonna to wanna to decide how long you want your garland. This one I am doing a four foot of garland with a foot of the jute twine on either side to give me enough room to add a bow and to tie it on. And I used 15 of the Eastern white pine cones. So again, it's gonna depend on the size of your cones. And then I cut out the jute twine, cut out 15 strips of that in six inches. Now, if you have trouble seeing or tying on things that are that small, definitely make them longer. It, it was a little bit of a challenge, but, and then just go through and tie them on. And then in the end, when you have them all in position, you can go ahead and tie a knot on either end to so that they don't slide back and forth. But I always wait till the end because what you're going to want to do as well is cut off any of the extra twine that's up on top. And that's what I'm going to get ready to do once I get them into place. And then any of the remaining twine that's left after you cut it, you can just tuck it under one of the scales of the pine cones. All right, so I'm going to make a bow. I just took some of this burlap and I actually did spray the edges of this burlap with a sealer um, because I didn't want the edges to fray. I do sometimes use the liquid no fray and that works really well. So I'm just adding some burlap and some lace and I'm going to go ahead and try to form a bow. 
I'm just going to fold it back and forth like accordion style. Make sure that everything's positioned in there. And at this point, you can use a little dab of hot glue. I just wrap that twine around to make the center of the bow. And we were good to go. For project number three, we have a natural bowl filler. And you can use any all natural elements that you can find outside. We used a variety of pine cones and other tree cones, acorns. We even took some small twigs that came off of our pine trees and cut them and actually put them in like a little twig bundle. And of course some acorns and you just arrange it in a little dish and add a candle and it just makes a beautiful table centerpiece. Oh, and I did add a little wreath that I made uh, out of grapevines a few years ago. And project number four is my favorite. It is painting the bowl filler to be snow kissed. And all you do is take white chalk paint and you're just gonna go along the edges, almost like dry brush it on. And you don't wanna get too much on there because you wanna have that gorgeous contrast of that all, all natural, beautiful brown with the just the touch of the white, just to give it a pop. So all the projects that you're seeing today, I have actually sold online and in my retail store when I had it. And the Snow Kissed, by far anything, whether it's Snow Kissed Garland or the, the name tags, that is a best seller. Now you're going to want to add two coats if your pine cones are really dry. And sometimes that happens just from over baking them. And I will talk about how to clean them and prepare them for crafting at the end of this video. And in the next few weeks, I will show you how I made this beautiful table centerpiece just out of all natural elements. So be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And another option is to fully paint your cones. Now, because pine cones do close up when they are wet, sometimes, especially with the Eastern white pine cones, it's really hard to dip them in paint because they'll close up. So I recommend spray painting them and they've definitely got to cure and dry for several weeks or else you'll have that smell. And again, if your pine cones are super dry, the more coats it's gonna take. So let's roll right into how we prep our tree cones for crafting. All right, so we're gonna head outside and see what we can find for pine cones. Show you guys how we pick some of them. And these are like almost like an Easter egg hunt. They're usually just hiding right on the surface underneath the leaf. And you see how some of them are damp and wet and their scales are closed. Right. And then we, we found a frog. The kids found a frog. Isn't he beautiful? All right, so we picked up some of the smaller ones. Now we're gonna head over to our side yard and see what we can find on the other side of those trees are the river it's kind of like a drop off in the river so we'll come over here on this side and try to find our oak tree so we can just pick up some acorns we don't want to take them all because the squirrels find them and eat them all right all right so here we find some now see the sticky sap i shouldn't even sap, be picking huh? these up without uh, gloves on because the sap is so super sticky. 
So we recommend wearing gloves and you're going to brush out all of those pine needles and leave them in the sun or someplace warm so their scales open up and they're easier to clean. Then once you've done that, you wanna lay out some parchment paper either on a cookie sheet or in the oven and you're going to bake them around 200 to 225 degrees for roughly around an hour. You don't wanna over bake them because they will become too dry and brittle. And you also wanna be careful because the sap is flammable. So you wanna keep that away from your element, but your home will smell amazing. And once they cool, they are ready for crafting. Friends, I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And do you guys have pine cones where you live? Do you craft with them? Just let me know below and I will see you next week and God bless. Darn. And that's sap, huh? Okay. This one would make a nice Christmas. Yeah. Then how is it going to show?